how can you not be just obsessed with these tones? They literally scream fall. Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I am so excited because I'm coming at you with a new Walmart haul. I haven't done one of these in a few months. And I am so shocked with the things that I saw at Walmart this weekend, you guys. They are really stepping up their game when it comes to fashion and I am pleasantly surprised. So of course I had to pick up a bunch of different things for the fall because not only are they really nice in my opinion, they are so affordable and I'm just so excited to show you guys. The majority of the stuff I actually found in store, but there's like two things that I ordered online. So I might not have links to everything, but the things that I do have links for I will drop the links down in the description box below if you are new to my channel hi my name is Stephanie thank you so much for watching my video if you like haul videos then definitely subscribe to my channel down below I have a bunch of those already and I have a lot more coming so let's get started okay so the first two things that I picked up at Walmart I actually ordered online and it is a sweatsuit from Fruit of the Loom and I know a lot of people have purchased these sweatsuits from Walmart and swear buy them so I thought that I would give them a try. I don't have anything black so that's why I picked these guys up. So they are both from Fruit of the Loom and I purchased just this crew neck sweatshirt and the matching sweatpants. Now when I bought these online I thought that they were gonna be a little bit thicker than they ended up being. I don't know why but <laughs> these are pretty thin. They do have fleece on the inside. So these are men's sizes. So I got a size small in the sweatshirt. I got a size medium in the pants. And normally in sweatpants, I'm a woman's medium and I do fit into a woman's small or medium depending on the top. But I decided to go with a men's small for the sweatshirt because I wanted it to be a tiny bit more fitted. And then I got a medium in the sweatpants because I thought that they were gonna be a little bit baggier than they ended up being. These actually fit like joggers, <laughs> but they don't have the jogger pant hole. They actually have elastic at the bottom of the pants. So a little bit more fitted than I would like. And I tried to find a pair in store when I went this weekend, but literally all of the men's sweatsuits in like basic colors like black and gray are sold out completely in store. The sweatpants and the sweatshirts and I'm just like I'm gonna have to order another one online but this took like two weeks to get here so the pants also have fleece on the inside so these are really soft when you wear them the pants have the elastic at the waistband and they do come with a drawstring on the inside so just in case you need to tighten these pants up it gives you that option they have pockets on the side which is perfect but because they are pretty thin you probably will be able to see everything that you have in your pockets very clearly. But what really made me buy these was the fact that these were like $7. Were like $7.86 or something like that. I'll leave the price on the screen. This was the cheapest sweatsuit I've ever bought. But yeah, I definitely had to get this guy. The only thing about this sweatsuit is that, is that it definitely feels like it's gonna shrink in the wash. Okay, next I'm on to the things that I picked up in store. And when I got to the store, you guys, I was like, blown away with the selection that was in front of me the first thing that i saw when i walked in was a bunch of really fuzzy sweaters and i was just so excited because i can definitely live in fuzzy sweaters so i was stuck between two they had two different types of sherpa sweaters and they were two different fabrics and they came in so many different color options so it was really hard to choose but i ended up going with this one from free assembly in a size medium i was stuck between this one and like a brownish nudish color but i'm glad that i got this one because i feel like it goes with anything it has two huge pockets and the inside is lined with fleece which is great i just have two slight problems with this one so the first one is that the fabric, like the Sherpa fabric on the outside is a little bit rougher than I would have liked. I mean, it's not like the roughest sweater I've ever felt. It looks like it's a lot easier to clean and won't get as dirty, but you don't feel that on the inside of the sweater at all because again, it is fleece. So once you put it on, you are comfortable. And the second thing that I have an issue with 
only not really is the fact that this sweater is more expensive than the other one that I saw the other one was like $15 or something like that but this one is $27 which is not what I was expecting to spend on a sweater at Walmart, but there is a positive side to this price tag. The tag actually says that this sweater was made using recycled materials. That's amazing. You get a really nice comfy sweater that you can wear through the winter and it was made using recycled materials. So it doesn't matter that it was $27. I am very happy that I was able to shop sustainably. Now this sweater you can wear it with like leggings or some sweatpants to just lounge around at home. But if you do want to wear it to go outside, then you can just definitely throw some blue jeans on and I just love that look. So speaking about leggings, the next thing that I picked up was this pair of leggings as well. These are from Time and True. These are so thick and so stretchy. Oh my God, I am so happy that I found these leggings because I am probably going to wear these the majority of the time that I'm home. <laughs> so I got these in a size medium. They are from Time and True. And the material is just ribbed material, but it's so stretchy. I got a size medium, but to be honest, I could have gotten a size small and because of the stretch, then they still would have been comfortable. These have an elastic at the waistband. These were $12.96 and came in black as well, I believe. These are high rise, which is perfect because I hate low rise leggings and they're just the most comfortable things that you can pair with almost anything. And I definitely think if you guys are gonna to go to Walmart for anything, then definitely grab you a pair of these. So the next two things that I picked up are also basics and I'm actually wearing one right now I saw these tops and I was just so in love because they had so many different tones that were just beautiful this one is just a crew neck and the fabric is ribbed but again it's very very incredibly stretchy and it's just so comfortable it sticks to your body very very nicely and it doesn't feel like it's suffocating you it doesn't feel like cheap fabric it feels like the softest ripped fabric that I've ever owned <laughs> now this top is from the brand no boundaries and I got this in a size medium as well and this shirt was $7.96 I am so happy with the price point and the quality that I got. I feel like in, an, in any other store, you could have gotten this shirt like at Aritzia and you would have paid like triple the price. So I think this is definitely a really great price point. This one, the tag said that it was the color brown. It also came in black, a nude color. It came in an olive green color, which I almost bought as well. And an icy gray bluish type of color that was really, really, really nice. The sticker that came on the shirt actually said that it's great for layering, so I'm definitely planning on doing that. But for this video, I decided to pair it with some faux leather pants. I think that the contrast is just so nice. This tone goes absolutely perfect with black leather, and I can definitely see myself going out with this, but I can also see myself staying at home and wearing sweatpants with it like I am right now. <laughs> you definitely have a lot of options that you can choose from when it comes to styling this top. I also got another top from no boundaries that's very similar to this one and it is this mock neck shirt it's the same exact type of stretchy ribbed fabric as the one that i have on right now the only difference is of course the mock neck i love mock necks and turtlenecks for the fall and winter so i'm so happy that they had this they also had this in a few different colors but i wanted this one because i wanted more of like a nudish brown type of shirt and it was also 7.96 so like 15 dollars for the both of these is a really really great deal i also got this one in a size medium and i paired it again with the faux leather pants that I just showed you guys not too long ago. And both of these shirts just look absolutely perfect with the pants that I chose. You just throw on a pair of booties and some gold jewelry and you are out the door and you look amazing. And I feel like the leather pants definitely elevate the look a little bit. And speaking of leather pants, you guys, Walmart is starting to sell like leather leggings and leather jackets. And I almost bought the leather leggings, but I didn't find my size in any of them. But they actually looked pretty good. And I just think that it's amazing that they're starting to actually include some really cool fashionable pieces like that. Now, I decided to throw on this coat that I actually got from Walmart too. This is something that I would see like at a Zara or a store like that. And the price point just blew me away. So this is the coat that I saw. 
it's so nice i've been searching for a nice camel colored coat for a really long time and i am gonna have to keep looking because i have to take this back because unfortunately i got a size that did not fit too well once i tried to close it so i'm gonna have to return this guy but it was so nice and for the price point if you want a camel colored coat go to walmart this guy's from time and true and it was 39.88 $39.88, $40 for a coat. Like, how could you say no? Again, this is from Time and True and I got it in a size medium. It is a very nice length. The material on the outside feels pretty nice. And this is what the inner lining looks like. It has two really nice pockets on the side. And I love the collar. I love how they designed the zipper. It kind of hides. But if you want to wear it open, then the zipper definitely looks very nice on its own. And overall, I am just so impressed with what Walmart has done with stuff like this. I went in there not expecting to find as many cute things as I did just because when I did my spring Walmart haul, I went in there and I saw a lot of like basics that you can find anywhere and I just kind of like styled it up a little bit the way that I liked but the fact that they had so many nice basic pieces for the fall is just like you can't say no. Now, when I saw these guys, I was just like, oh my God, I need them. I hope they have them in my size because I only saw a few of them left in the store. But this is what I got. I am so happy that I found these because I really wanted a pair of fuzzy slippers. And these are just the softest slippers I have ever bought. <laughs> so it looks like these are from the brand Secret Treasures and they're so cute. They have like little clouds and moons at the bottom with the rubber sole and then it's just a crisscross design in the front and the fur oh my gosh this is so freaking soft and i was hoping that they had maybe like black but they didn't have this in black they only had it in this white color but i'm still very happy with my purchase and i will be wearing these all fall and winter long <laughs> all right you guys that's it. I hope you enjoyed my Walmart haul. I'm so impressed with what Walmart has done this season. It literally blows my mind because I was not expecting the tones. I was not expecting this coat. <laughs> so if you still need to do some fall or winter shopping, definitely go to Walmart. You will not be disappointed. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Are you as impressed as I am or are you not impressed at all? Were you expecting this? I would love to hear your thoughts. If you like my video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.